ultimate goal now and from the very beginning playing music has always been to be able to play with the musicians that I like the best and to be respected by the musicians that I like the best. And a school can either facilitate that or get in the way of it. And the new school facilitated that. My name is Eddie Barbash and I'm a saxophonist in New York City. I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Jazz Performance at the New School for Jazz and Contemporary Music. I was looking for more freedom creatively, more freedom with who I could study with and what I could study. Yeah, let's do it one more time. And more freedom to be a professional musician. When I looked at all the programs, the New School seemed like the one that would offer me that. I love their policy that if you've reached a certain level of proficiency on your instrument, that they let you study with anybody that you can convince to teach you. I mean, that's an enormous opportunity for networking and to study things that you maybe wouldn't be able to afford to study otherwise. The cool thing about being a freelance musician is that every week is totally different. So sometimes I'm on the road with a band, sometimes I'm just practicing at home. Sometimes I've got three different gigs around the city, and I love that. You got to believe in love. Until about a year ago, I was playing with John Baptiste and Stay Human. I had been playing with him for about 10 years, and towards the end of that, we got hired to be the band for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Give it up one more time for John Baptiste and Stay Human, everybody. It was a beautiful. And it was an incredible experience. But ultimately, after a year and a half of it, realized that it wasn't allowing me to have the freedom to just go anywhere and play with anybody. I was worried that everybody would think I was crazy. That was really the scariest thing about it. But it wasn't scary from a musical standpoint or a creative standpoint. It's kind of like when you clear a field, more can grow in its place. I do a lot of different stuff right now, but I kind of see it grouped into two worlds musically. There's the world of American roots music, which includes everything from bluegrass to old time. And then the other world is classical and it's jazz, but I sort of think of it as anything that's melody centered and it kind of features me crooning a beautiful melody. I'm approaching the instrument much more as a singer than an instrumentalist. The New School is different from a lot of other conservatories in that it gives you a lot of freedom. It teaches you about harmony and about how to improvise. But in no way does it relegate you to playing jazz or whatever jazz is. The New School just gave me the freedom to be myself. I never really buy it when musicians say that they want to make the world a better place because it's too egocentric a job for that to be the reason you're doing it. The only impact I could really hope to have is that I'm able to sometimes give people that same feeling that I get when I hear music that I love.